Hello and welcome to Just Books. It's the weekly show that takes you into the world of readers, writers and the latest publishing trends. But first, a quick look at what's on our bookshelf today. Political journalist Sabha Nakvi on her book In Good Faith, A Journey Through India's Syncretic Tradition. And editor MJ Akbar on his favourite reading list. What's doing brisk business in the bookshops and who's shaking the bestseller charts? Here's a quick look at the week's bestsellers. Shobatye returns to fiction with a novel of skullduggery and high political intrigue. Based on notes for a novel he left at his death, Tilly Bagshaw spins a yarn of brutal murder in Hollywood. White collar crime in the banking industry in the last of a trilogy set in the world of finance in Mumbai, Singapore and the jungles of Chhattisgarh. The first of the best-selling trilogy about a passionate affair between a literature student and a wealthy entrepreneur that is cult fiction of the year. And the latest legal thriller from the master of the yawn unmasks the murder of a federal judge. An analysis with case studies on how the West can learn from experimental innovations in frugal engineering. An emerging less is more trend in emerging economies. A first-hand account of the mission that killed Osama bin Laden. And real tales from the Mumbai Mafia. The complete authorised biography of the charismatic revolutionary figure who transformed the digital world. And a collection of essays and musings by the best-selling novelist. And here's my pick of five new titles in the bookshops this week. From the activist and former civil servant, a searing account of the fight for food among India's poor. A manic caper set in the southern capital in the life of a jack of all trades is a diverting farce. A frothy comedy of manners of the tussle between arranged and love marriages in modern day Pakistan. A portrait of the songwriter and poet in conversation with the filmmaker and film historian. And an updated photographic and historic portrait of Delhi's old monument strewn settlements. And in our ongoing series, What's on My Bookshelf, columnist and editor MJ Akbar talks about his favourite reading list. Hi, I'm MJ Akbar. Uh, what you see behind me uh, is really a collection of uh, books that are relevant to the books I have written. As you age, as you know, uh, your library tends to change. Uh, it tends to take different focuses dealing with the latest interest. So on the uh, right there, uh, there is the uh, section on the Quran, on uh, the Prophet, biographies. Uh, there's a very, very beautiful uh, calligraphic uh, Quran. Below is something that must be there, I think, in every library which is standard dictionaries, basic texts. Um, the, the last bit of any shelf is generally kept for uh, the yes buts, and lots of yes but books. Here is uh, the, the Gita, the Purans, the Mahabharat, uh, the basic read texts of Hinduism. Below is a whole selection on Islam. This is some interesting books on Jesus, so as you can see that these are really, this is the religious section. Some excellent book, by the way, on, uh, on uh, Islam in Indonesia called uh, Durga's Mosque uh, by Stephen Hanty. Uh, whoever's interested in the, uh, the sociology of faith in that region would find it a must read. Then you, uh, of course, scattered everywhere, there's always a PG Vidas. I mean, uh, there, there is nothing I would not stop to read a P.G. Woodhouse, except maybe an Agatha Christie. Uh, yeah. 
then comes essentially the Muslim world. One of my favorite books is uh, Andrew Wink's Al Hind. This is really deals with the first quarter of uh, the 20th century. Then you move on when you get to the India section, history. This book is very, very interesting. It's the life of Sal Saladin, not by any modern writer, but by a contemporary, Behaddin. Uh, he was in Saladin's court. But the interesting thing about this book is that he didn't particularly like the man who is now probably the most admire fig admired figure in Muslim history. So you get Saladin warts and all, and some of the warts are very interesting. Here you get uh, Gandhi. Again, so much of my books are really basic texts. The, uh, I have the full 100 volumes of Gandhi. No one has read the 100 volumes of Gandhi, indeed, including as suspect Gandhi himself. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.